let her get to you, Rosie. I never do. Have a drink. Andrew. Ah, uh, Hugh. You remember that time we had in the Dordoin? <laughs> How many bottles did we sink that lunchtime? Oh, you mean the one that went on for three days? Only three? I thought it was Thursday before we staggered out. Could have been four. Are you going to pour it or just cuddle it? <laughs> These are my babies, you know. Oh, that's all right. They'll only be up the road. You can come and visit them. No, I want you to buy them. I want you to buy them all. Buy your cellar? But it's taken you years. Oh, I need the money. It's not easy starting a family suddenly. I don't envy you taking on three children at your age. <laughs> Will you buy it? Are you sure about this? No, but I want you to say yes quickly so I don't have a chance to change my mind. But if it'll help you, yes. Thank you. I want it to go to a good home. <laughs> I'll look after it well. I think you'll find it's a decent selection. Yes, I'm sure it is. Uh, got any Santa Emilion? Chateau Ozon, 85. Classic year. Mm. Oh, that was a great trip, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, who was the winemaker? Pascal Delbecq. Oh, he's a lovely man. Put us up for the night, you remember? Insisted. As I remember, we passed out in the vineyard and he covered us with a horse blanket. <laughs> Very hospitable. Oh, brings it all back. Oh, we all get back one day. I had a dream. Yes, um, did I see a Margot? I had a dream. I had a dream that Maggie and I would live the rest of our lives in France. Within walking distance of a vineyard, I trust. Oh, you were so close, Hugh. We could see the farmhouse, the stream, the ivy, the old stone. Of course. A spitting distance. But no. Oh, steady on. Have you ever seen something beautiful disappear from before your eyes? Um, I did get a bit fed up when the piranha ate the angelfish. <laughs> Disappointment ages you. Oh, not half as much as running around after three children, I bet. I want to go to France. <laughs> Look, we'll be doing the usual Bordeaux run next month. Send you a postcard? No, I couldn't bear it. Him cry. It wasn't me. I am so pleased to see you. Since those three lovely, lovely, oh, lovely grandchildren moved in, haven't you got anything to do? No, I've already counted my blessings. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of your grandmother in you. Where are you going? To, <laughs> to buy as a new personality. <laughs> She's a lovely girl, isn't she? No, she's a nightmare. <laughs> so how are you? A wreck, a shadow, a broken woman. I haven't even had time for a cuticle dip. Oh, surely you could get someone to take them off your hands for a couple of hours. Well, you could. Well, I've got all that capo de monte, darling, and, and my floors are waxed. You, well, I'd do anything else to help. Wave a magic wand and make them disappear. Oh, I couldn't wave anything. I spent the whole of yesterday being pummeled by Giorgio, the new masseur at Body Works. Shut up, Rosie. I'm sorry, I didn't think. So what have you been up to? Well, you know what I've been up to. Supermarkets, school outfitters, washing, ironing, pet shops, supermarket. I haven't got a life anymore. So, tell me about yours. Well, last Friday we went to Florence for a couple of days. Oh, oh. oh what is it? must be these onions. They're carrots. <laughs> oh, come on now. It's been such a strain for you, I know. You don't know, Rosie. You haven't got a flaming clue. Well, all right, then. Tell me about it. I'll never go to Florence again. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. No, I won't. Not like we used to, spare of the moment. Not for years. I can't do anything anymore. I've got no freedom, no money, no fingernails. You got me? Your answer phone's on all the time these days. Well, you know how it is. I know how it was. It'll be like that again. No, not till I'm too old to enjoy it. Do you know how many years it takes to bring up children? 
No. Neither do I. But it's a hell of a long time, isn't it? Well, I think you need some proper help. Oh, I, I've got Liz three times a week. No, I mean, have you ever thought of counselling? Oh, don't you think I've got enough to do? No, I mean, for you. I think you need someone to talk to. I'm talking to you. Have one of these. Oh, no, can't do that. Nicotine police. Georgia? No, Jake. He's just like his father. Priggish little killjoy. <laughs> That's nice. Mm, I picked it up in Florence last weekend. Oh, oh. <laughs> Grandad's crying as well. <laughs> I said, yes, get the lion out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. I had a glass in one hand, cover bear in the other, and the seat ripped, and I fell through the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and you showed admirable composure, as I remember, Maggie. You didn't spill a drop. <laughs> Legs in the air, not at my best. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what did he say? Not can I help you out, darling. Let me give you a hand. But where's, where's the, the camera? <laughs> it's right, it was a good shot. <laughs> Look at this one of the jurors. You look at the expression on your face. <laughs> well, I know why that was. We went to that supermarket to buy some pate for lunch, remember? Nobody seemed to think it a bit funny that there was a picture of a Pekingese on the front of the tin. Of course, I was the first one to taste it. <laughs> and it was dog food. <laughs> no, something it wasn't bad. <laughs> well, I've had worse for lunch. <laughs> lunch? Don't look at the <laughs> I might have to open a tin. I haven't even laid the table yet. Oh, I saved your lunch. You've saved what? Oh, Georgia, that is wonderful. How kind of you to do that for me. I didn't do it for you. I did it because I was hungry. Oh, come on, everyone. Georgia saved the lunch. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Terrific. And after all your grandmother's been saying about, oh, what lovely food. <laughs> so, um, can I sit beside you, young man? So long as you don't smoke. Uh, right. So, uh, what are you going to be when you grow up? A missionary. <laughs> uh, did Rosie tell you that we spent the weekend in Florence? <coughs> yes, she did. And um, that's wonderful, Georgia. But um, where is the meat? What meat? She's vegetarian. The roast beef. It was in the Arga. Well, it's still there. I wasn't going to touch it. Oh, no. Um, I'll just get the meat. Don't expect it to be rare. That's all right, Rosie. Mm. Red meat is very bad for you. Quite apart from the ethical consideration of eating a beautiful, gentle creature that supplies you with cream and cheese. Red meat is pumped full of additives and preservatives. Often the animals are already diseased when they're slaughtered. And you can get mad cow disease from eating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My teeth come out. It's bleeding. <laughs> Still pink and juicy inside, thank goodness. I hope everyone's hungry. 